So then I found a lot of information out there about the fact that you know, a lot of scholars understand that the Anunnaki gods are a bunch of serpents and dragons and they've been watching us lifetime after lifetime, never ascend, never get any freaking peace, have to keep reincarnating, letting them feed off of our energy, feed off of our kundalini energy, feed off of everything from us. And um, they don't know where they started though, but there's a lot of channeled information coming from extraterrestrials. If you've ever heard of Bashar, channeled by Daryl Anka, and you would see how many comments and how many people are paying attention to just that guy. Then you look at the people that are channeling Kryon, the people that are channeling this entity, and if you've ever heard of the Law of One Ra books, that shit's interesting. Law of One Ra books, or five books that came out in the 80s. These three people channeled an entire civilization who just kind of named themselves Ra. But um, real hive mentality, these things are birds of a feather who flock together, literally. But, uh, you know, the Law of One Ra books are very interesting. I want to read them sometime. I've read a couple of synopsis about them, but Inner Christos people understand that these Anunnaki gods are mainly Draconian and Jehovan Anunnakis. And that they have placed Jehovan seals all throughout our bodies. And it seems like this is where people start getting called crazy. Except these are things that people who are doing spiritual healing run into. Just like Indigo 3s. These people are doing spiritual healings and fuck around and find out you actually have another soul attached to you. It's, it's a host matrix thing. Then we got this guy, remember? I said he was a harpy in my one video. <laughs> because he seems like he knows a lot, but he's out here pandering so that he can kind of be accepted by Christians still. I could be wrong. I maybe need to watch some more of his videos, but no, then I find out that he's actually dating this girl named Ireland Clark, who is straight up out here teaching inner Christos guardian information. And yeah, I don't know, that guy rubs me wrong. But bunches of videos and people talking about not only J Seals, there's more. But why don't you look them up? Indigo Angel here. She is uh, an Indigo Type 1. And um, she's out there downloading and receiving information from the Guardians. The Inner Christos information is Guardian information. It's being channeled in. And these Guardians are the good extraterrestrial entities out there who are kind of babysitting everybody. But Ashiana Dean, she mentioned her and she likes her. But um, Ashiana Dean's numbers seem off. Her numbers of indigos seem very low. And this chick's like literally going to the Vatican on guardian missions 
and running reversal currents and trying really hard to damage what the Vatican is doing and the energies that the Vatican is bringing into this world from their fallen ETs and fallen extraterrestrials. I totally believe that. But she says there are 500 million indigos and star seeds out there. And I believe that. Lots and lots of information that you are never going to see on the news. Whole freaking shitload of them. Oscar, go away. You are a terror. Where is Natasha Farping? Where is here's her getting hers removed. And my uh Jehovian um so I had my uh, Jehovian Anunnaki J seals removed, um, and I'm going to explain what that's about. Um, my name is Natasha. I'm from Soul Mission, where I work with star seeds and light workers who wish to ground their soul mission into physical reality. So I had an advanced healing uh, done on me about two and a half weeks ago. And it was the removal of the J seals, otherwise known as Jehovian Anunnaki uh, seals. And um, I've been thinking about having these removed for um, quite some time. Um, but I wanted to do my research on this first and really kind of um, um, understand what the full implications of that would mean. And um, so let me kind of give you a little bit of background before I um, share my experience with this. And um, yeah, um, so um, most of us healers have been taught the very basics um, behind the energy body, like the chakra system, the meridian system. Um, but there are deeper layers um, to the light body, many, many deep layers. And uh, one of these is the fact that um, we are meant to have 12 strands of fully activated DNA. But most of us on this planet only have three um, activated strands of DNA. That's exactly what Fabian at Christo's avatar talks about. When I woke up, I'm like, what in the hell is going on? I feel like I just got plugged into a video game, turned on. Oh yeah, I remember. I volunteered to come here. I'm not even from this world. My soul is not from here. Now I remember. And oh yeah, I actually also remember that I have some kind of a side deal some kind of a side arrangement with somebody named Elijah. And I really feel like this happened to a biracial woman in the United States for a lot of really good reasons. And I feel like the United States, DOJ, FBI, CIA, this is the most corrupted yet powerful nation. It disgusts me. It makes me sick. Freaking NASA. These people are lying and hiding so much shit. And I feel like Elijah Power had to crack in the United States because it needed some extra light codes. That's how I feel. I feel like now it's just like, okay, well. Hopefully a lot of other people did wake up and hopefully they come up swinging. Bullshit. 
which um, and each strand of DNA relates to a realm of awareness, consciousness, dimension, reality. So in effect, um, you know, most of the planet it, it is due to no fault uh, of their own is walking around with suppressed DNA strands so that they're not fully able to kind of um, awaken into kind of um, greater consciousness. Um, and that's simply in part due to the history of, of this planet that I'm not going to go into in this video because it would just take too long. Um, but the short uh, version is uh, changes were made to the Earth grid, which then updates um, all the mini grids that all the beings on this planet have, including humans. So um, uh, also what that means is um, uh, seals were placed on parts of um, our strands of DNA uh, to suppress some of the functions of the DNA, to suppress um, the awakening process. Um, so I felt like I'd done a lot of work on myself already up to this point, and I felt like I wanted to have these um, removed. And um, because I had my 12 strand DNA activation back in 2013. Um, but the problem is the DNA can't fully express uh, if there are seals or plugs placed in the coding of the DNA strands that prevent the strands from fully expressing. So, um, so I decided to have these removed. Now the main um, Jehovian Anunnaki seals are along the left side of the body on the seventh axiotonal line. So that's an uh, etheric, um, etheric uh, line uh, to the light body on the seventh level. And um, so if you've been having any issues on the left hand side of your body, um, you know, behind the left knee, uh, left thigh, buck, buttock, and um, these areas, and also uh, one of the seals is in the pineal gland. Um, these seals may have become activated, um, you know, in the last 15 years as we've gone through this new stellar activation cycle where Earth kind of moves through this cycle every roughly 26,000 years. And every time that event happens, and we're in the middle of one now, um, you know, um, these seals get kind of activated and they can really uh, harm your um, physical body. Um, they also create an unnecessary aging process. Uh, we are meant to live uh, much longer, but these seals really do um, prevent from, uh, a, you know, a longer lifespan. So that's kind of gi giving you a little bit of background. Um, and I, w I will make more videos kind of explaining uh, a bit more about this. Um, but for now, I'm going to share with you uh, my uh, experience. So I had them removed about two and a half weeks ago by an advanced uh, healer. And I lay down for about 50 minutes. And um, he, yeah, he was using his healing sequence to uh, remove these. So what I felt during the process was about three or four times, I went into a kind of light trance-like um, state. And uh, I felt energy moving throughout my body. But the main sensations I felt was a week later and also over the past couple of days. So about a week after, I mean, I felt very energized <laughs> at the end of the healing, that, that I do need to say. But within a couple of days of that um, J seal removal, I noticed that I, um, my, either my eyesight had improved or I was noticing a lot greater detail about, um, you know, 
anything that I was looking at. The colors were brighter. Um, I was able to kind of see more clearly um, things in my surroundings. So that was kind of interesting. Past couple of days, what's been happening is, um, well, first of all, um, you know, as I'm in bed and I'm preparing to sleep, I'm seeing a lot of more sacred geometry um, symbols um, in my mind's eye. And I'm also hearing, um, you know, beings commenting on my life and my interactions with people. Um, I have heard my higher self uh, speak to me um, on occasion previously, uh, especially in the last few years. And it felt a bit like them kind of discussing, <laughs> um, you know, my life. Um, I mean, they're here to support us in our, you know, spiritual journey of awakening and learning. So, yeah. And the other thing I've noticed, especially last night, is I felt a lot of um, a lot of pain here in in the upper left hand neck area. And I double checked the locations of the J seals. There's at least two or three on on this point. Um, and just feeling a lot of energy work being done, you know, um, and I was told that it would take about three to four months to integrate this process and that, um, you know, I, I could expect to kind of grow even more into my, my gifts and abilities. So uh, I'm going to keep recording, coming here and recording videos as things um, arise. Anywho, I've had a couple of moments throughout my past, like whenever I was sitting in jail and I heard my higher power, which at the time I thought was kind of a voice of God, tell me I am where I need to be. I feel like a lot of people have heard their higher self, their higher power, encourage them or communicate in some way. And there is nothing wrong with that. There are, though, people like the lady who is sitting there with her little Jesus doll freaking out like a total nut job. Then there are a lot of people who are diagnosed schizophrenic because they think that they are talking to God constantly. So they think they are prophets of God because they are talking to God directly. That, those people need help. Those people are getting attacked spiritually and they cannot tell the difference behind the good voice of their higher power and then these other dark entities that are literally crashing into their minds. Me? Never thought I was a prophet. Never thought, I never had any big fucking issues until I got hit with COVID twice and the entire world got attacked. And then I started getting scared because I understood that God was under attack because what do you know? We are all God. And I felt it and I didn't understand it at first and I could never. When I came down off my high horse and I started working on my heart and I started trying to get that shit light, I could never see myself in the mirror. I'm trying to look at myself so hard in my head and figure out who the hell I am, what the hell is my purpose. And then in August, it was like the whole rug got pulled out from under me. And I'm going, well, this kind of actually sucks. <laughs> this is why I couldn't see myself. This is why 
I couldn't comprehend my star seed being or my side missions or any soul contract that I have. This is why, oh shit, now I totally understand why I had to walk the path that I had to walk because I'm looking around at all these mental health patients and I'm going, there's something going on. Like everybody is being attacked spiritually and I cannot figure it out. I can't figure out why this person's experiencing this, this person's experiencing that. Both of those people could sit in front of five different doctors and get 25 different diagnoses. It doesn't make any sense. The DSM-5 is huge, literally to keep trapping people in this fake world. And they are trapping pineal and pituitary glands so that people don't understand that spiritual awakenings are real and everybody's trying to have them. I am so upset.